What we'd like to achieve here today is to get a picture in this Joomla article using the JCE editor. What we'd like is a smallish picture to float on the right hand side of the text just here. Now one of the first things we need to think about is the size of our picture. It's really important to upload the image the correct size. That way you won't be over uploading something so big that it overloads the browser, makes the page really slow to load. You've probably seen those websites where you sit and you see the image arriving very, very slowly. That's because somebody has uploaded a picture that's way too big for the website and is using the web browser to crush it down to the right size on the page. But it's really not a good thing to do. Most websites are roughly about a thousand pixels wide, so we can make a rough estimate that we want this picture about a third of the width of the website, so around 300 pixels. Now, if you want to be a little bit more accurate than that, you can use some other tools. I'm using Firefox to edit this website, and you can add tools on there, and you'll see I have one here that says Display Ruler. Now, that pops up a little box there that I can slide around on screen, and I can just stretch it out to whatever I think, and then up here on this toolbar, It'll give me the pixel dimensions of that box, so let's drag that into 300 so we can see what a 300 wide picture would look like. Oh yeah, and I think that would look fine in there. It stops the text being quite so wide, makes it easier for people to read. Alright, now we need to go over to the back end of the website. Now we knew that article was called Adding an Image to Joomla, so we need to go and find that in our Article Manager. So open up the Article Manager. Now we can filter that down because I know it's in one of my training categories. So if I go to Joomla training, that's going to narrow things down a little. And here we go, adding an image to a Joomla article. We can click there to open that up. Yep, this is what we were looking for. We can see in the blue there, that's our headline in the H1. And there, the main paragraph text there in grey. And we want to get that picture in here. Uh, I'm pretty certain I want the picture near the top of the first bit of paragraph text, so I'm going to put my cursor against that first line. Now, if I hover over these buttons, a tooltip will pop up, and that'll help to remind you what all the buttons in the editor do. As you can see, this one is Insert Edit Image, so I'm going to click there. This has uploaded the Image Manager. Now, we've kept most of our images there all in folders, so you can keep a nice tidy structure. And this button here will let you make new folders, just to keep everything tidy so you can go back and find your pictures. Now, I have one here called Lesson Library, where I've been putting all my pictures. Now, I've got the picture I wanted there in alre already. Now, if I click on that, you'll see it's 340 pixels wide, so it was just that little bit too wide, so I'm going to delete that. It's going to want me to confirm. Yes, I do want to delete that. And then I'm going to upload a new version. And that's our upload button there. Again, I'll hover over that and you can see it says upload. Now, I've resized my picture using Preview. I'm working on a Mac and that program is built in. So if you're on a Mac, Preview, easy way to resize your images. If you're using a Windows machine, you could use Paint to do the same thing. But if you don't think you've got any image editing software, have a Google and look for an online imaging editing service. There's lots of free ones out there where you can upload your picture, change it to exactly the pixel dimensions you want, download it again back to your machine, all for free. All right, I'm going to browse here and I know I have got my image there on the desktop. I'm going to choose that and say upload. There, that's now in the system, and I can see 300 pixels wide. That's fine, I'm going to click on that one. That's the picture, I can see 300 pixels. Now, alignment, this is the important thing. If you look to the top here, we've got a little preview, and we can see the picture is just sitting on its own and the text isn't wrapping around. That's not what we want. We want this to align to the right. There we go, the preview has shown it moving over to the right of the text. Now, the only thing I don't like here is the text is hard up against the picture, which really doesn't look nice. So to add some white space around a picture, we add in margin. And you'll see there's a line here for margin for all the sides of the picture. Now, we don't want equal values here. 
all I want to do is add some space to the left hand side of that picture. I think 22 pixels will do it. I'm going to add a little bit to the bottom just in case the text wraps around underneath and I don't want it be, to be too close there either. So I've put my margins in and I'm going to hit insert. There we go, that looks just about perfect to me. But we need to check that on the front end. So we're just going to save, which will keep the editor open so we can come back and make any changes. But now we can go back to the page, refresh that and see how it looks. Ah, I think that looks perfect. I do wonder though, maybe it could sit down a little further. Maybe it would look better if the text didn't wrap underneath but went over the top. So we can change that easily if we think that would look better. We can go back and get our image and just drag it down a little bit further. There we go now got the text running over the top. Of course it's quite close and we don't really want that so we can go back and edit that image again and this time we're going to add six pixels to the top and update. Okay that's moved it away from that text which I think is going to look better. Again we'll save, go back to the front end and refresh to see those changes. Yeah, I think that looks much better. It's broken the text up nicely. Having a bit narrower text here does make it easier for people to read. I think that looks great. So we can go back and save and close.